like a prop thingy for this. I'll get it for you. Right behind you in the basket. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I've got to move some stuff. I wasn't too prepared. I was looking something up. I was very... Very, very in, in, yeah, very into looking up this piece of Fenton, this color. Couldn't figure it out, but I need to get something to prop up my. Yeah, there you go. Because I'm standing, so it's a little different. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, now I'm trying to see if I can get into my video so I can see if you guys are talking to me. I am so hot, you guys. Blah. All right. Okay, wait. Wait, I see some people. So we have Nettie. Hi, Nettie. And Helen. Hey, Rashida. And Aaron's back here with me. He's trying to help me investigate this color. It's so interesting. Hi, Javier. Oh, I see Aaron in there. Hi, Rashida. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. So, as the title says, we have an, quite an awesome haul video for you guys. I didn't film in there, in this little store. Wasn't quite sure if I was allowed. Some places don't like you to film in there, you know. Um, so, I didn't film. We also did stop by um, the Treasure Mart. And I didn't film in there because I had a kind of like a upset morning. And I... I it would probably translate on camera so I didn't film in there so you guys don't have to get upset Alex <laughs> so this is just a haul of the two places that we went um, but tomorrow tomorrow's our sale already so tomorrow you guys in may, towards the morning time I'll release uh, the video of the items that we've selected for the sale so you can get like first look for the channel members um, and then I'll have it, um, you know, be public for the rest of you guys. Um, so there's that. There will be that video. Um, we still have the flea market video that I need to get up for you guys. But nevertheless, this is a haul video from today. We found a lot of cool things and I just wanted to share them with you. Um, hi, Ramona, Elaine. Oh, it is so warm. Our feels like temperature was like a hundred and something. So hot outside. Okay. Yeah, very, very busy running around like crazy, Rashida. Um, yeah. So, looks like we have a little bit of a lag. Try and catch up. Make sure you're in live chat. Um, all that good stuff to stay. Covered candy jar. Covered candy jar? Yeah. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, this was from... That other one too. Well, I gotta. I'm. I got myself behind on videos. I did. I was getting pretty good at posting the video, the videos before the items went up for sale. Now I've gotten myself behind. Um, so now the, you might see a couple videos to where the items are probably already. I mean, if I'm lucky, they're already sold. But. Um, Anyways, all right, so we have, hi, Anna. Aaron's back there still, like. I'm looking at a Fenton book. Yeah. There's an oddball Fenton color we found that I can't find anywhere. I know, we can't find this. So um, right before we got on, I think we messaged Sandy, Aaron did. And, and LaDonna. And LaDonna, because both of them are, like, our go-to sort of, like, Fenton people. And um, LaDonna knows a lot about like all kinds of stuff so here's the the uh the color of Fenton that we found and I just thought it was great so if any of you guys know like that would be awesome if you could tell us the color of this like I mean obviously it's purple but I've not even the lady at the antique store didn't see this color and she said that the owner she was one of the uh people that had a booth there and they got to um, every, like to pay for part of their like um, percentage, their rent, they have to work the register. 
and she said that the owner got in quite a few pieces of this color and they've all already sold but she's like I've been doing this like 30 years or something like that and she's like I've not seen this particular purple so we're like it says down here it has a fenton mark um, we're kind of racking our brains trying to figure out this particular color so in the same color and I don't typically buy these slippers because unless we do like a they're really pretty inexpensive I could do them as a giveaway but the color I just I couldn't get over the this purple color so I don't know um, I don't know he can't find it in a book I'm searching purple Fenton glass like anything that's sold on eBay yeah. to see if there's anything similar and nothing so hopefully whenever LaDonna and Sandy get Aaron's messages they'll be able to help us out so we got those two things um, that was an antique store um, we had to go, I think we got this, 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 and where are you? This. Uh, we had to go to um, our old hometown to take care of some paperwork and stuff. So we checked on a few antique stores, and I don't know what happened, but they're like all closed. Um, and that's crazy because that's like a real busy like touristy kind of area that's like saying you know the shops are closed in st augustine or or something it was just really weird but we did find one that was open and she had some cool things um at some prices that we could afford uh so one of the things we picked up was this jim shore like bucket of apples it's a trinket box so we got that and it says it's from 2006 I thought that was neat that would look really cute like in the fall or for like the summer displays back to school stuff like that we picked that up and then I kept calling this a pineapple the whole time but it is a pear <laughs> this is another trinket box that is a pear by Jim Shore so we got that there again 2006 um, can't believe because Aaron jokes that we've probably bought every fairy lamp in the state of Florida or at least um, shown people in the state of Florida to go buy the fairy lamps but we actually found a little one sitting on the shelf um, we both walked past it a couple times but we found it pretty cool yeah mine's not doing anything either and then the last thing from that store is this giant uh, bubble glass like art glass mushroom so yeah we picked that up it's got a nice clear bottom there's no signature or anything that I could find um, on it like not underneath the mushroom cap or anything but and it's a big size one so hi my heart we got those and I think that completes that particular store um, we went over to a Goodwill oh wait no that doesn't complete that store we picked up oh hmm I'm gonna save this one because you know why um, I haven't officially announced it but there's so many people that are doing Christmas in July but Aaron and I are gonna do um, watching on mute as I'm at work on a phone call okay Jody <laughs> um, but we're going to do Halloween in July. So I'm going to save this little piece. I'm going to put it to the side. I did show you guys a bunch of Halloween stuff that we got. But we've picked up some other stuff since then. And um, they will be in that video. Or in that sale, I should say. But yeah, we went to a Goodwill while we were down there. The, the Goodwill that I used to frequent all the time, as a matter of fact... All, all my early videos on the channel the ones that I because uh, when they did that little that kappa thing um, I had to make some of the videos with the kids private um, so some of their like toy hauls from there and stuff had to be private not that I ever really showed their face but but anyway so way back then that particular Goodwill 
I have lots of videos from there. It had a, like a weigh and pay, a pay by the pound place. But we went there and I got, Bianca got a couple of uh, t-shirts. I can't remember. I think Gabriel got a few DVDs and I found two little things. So um, I found this Elvis doll. Now he's got his shirt tucked in. So when I was trying to see who makes them, I'd have to completely like take his clothes off to see if he's like Mattel or something. But he's even got a little like kick to his leg, you know? <laughs> so got an Elvis doll. Then I picked up this Laurel Birch, this cat bag. Still has the little tag on there. So I grabbed the cat bag. Hi, Janet. Hi, Angela. Got that. So I think that's the only thing from that Goodwill. <laughs> um, went to a Salvation Army. Now we popped into the Salvation Army today. It was, again, it was kind of in our old neighborhood. And uh, when we went over there, well, I went into the St. Vincent. I have a lot of videos from the St. Vincent and stuff. That was kind of depressing. But um found a couple of things in the Salvation Army. Just really quick. We were in there, like, really quick. It was too hot. So we got this. This, I thought, it has a little bit of a boo-boo, but I thought it might would make a cool giveaway. Um, this juicer, and it does glow, but you see the chip there? They always have a chip, don't they? Usually it's here, or really bad up here, but I found this guy. Then, this has a couple little nicks up here, but I, <laughs> it's so cool, this banana, um, wall pocket so this reminds me of d she does like the fruit in her kitchen i mean a lot of people do but this cute little wall pocket i, I liked it so i thought it was kind of cool and then these two small um duck usually these comes in like these come in like three or fours but these little duck wall pockets i grabbed those from the salvation army so hi carol all right so those are cool those will end up being um i don't know about the, the elvis doll that might be like a, i don't know an ebay thing i don't know if anybody would go after an elvis elvis doll so i'm just watching him trying to play tetris over there put all that stuff away um but yeah a lot of those will be in our sales upcoming sales Okay, so now for the antique store. I think I got all the thrift store stuff. The antique store and um, where did we get those? Oh, Treasure Mart. So we have Treasure Mart and we have the antique store. So this was Treasure Mart. Oh, I have no idea. That's what we were trying to figure out. If you're talking about the purple. Um, I think we got... Oh, I probably mixed some stuff up. Nevertheless. I know sometimes you guys like to know, like, oh. Like, for some reason, people are just super curious. Like, oh, was that at Goodwill? I think maybe because you feel like you have a goodwill too and you can possibly find something like that so i try and be like you know really careful and tell you guys where i got things from um but anyway so from the treasure mart which some of you guys might not know it's a like a indoor they call it like an indoor flea market it's like a vendor mall um so they go anywhere from say yard sales type stuff to like antique store stuff so two of the things we picked up were a couple more art glass flowers one of them is much longer than the other, so of course they'll take some interesting packaging for them. But we got two art glass flowers from the Treasure Mart. 
I got this little, I've not had a crab as a, a critter for you guys. So we got this glass crab. And on the bottom, there's a sticker that says, it's hard to see now, 24% something, probably crystal, made in Italy. And then it says something else on it. But we got the glass crab. Doesn't glow. Oh, oh I picked up this Cloisonne bracelet. I thought that was very pretty. You just push this button and it opens. And I'm not like a really dainty person. Even like at my thinnest, I was not a, like a dainty small person. So it's a nice size bangle. So picked that up. And of course my nail broke earlier. So to push down on the little button, there we go. So I thought that was beautiful. And also in the same booth, I was surprised we found these, but we got these little micro mosaic, these little pill. Rose pastel. There you go. And that says. Rose pastel. Okay. Try and look that up. So this little um, micro mosaic, like, like, you know, a little pill box. Rose pastel. And then here's another little pill box here. Hi, Mom. This one just got $20 on it. So, yeah, no. That's not it. Mm -mm. That, that color is really pink. This, here, do you want, can I see the book? Sure. So here's rose pastel, and here's our color. So it's quite a bit more purple. Like a grimace color. So I don't know. And then the last thing, hi Debbie, we have is this little, not last thing, but in the little group, is this micro mosaic made in Italy brooch. It says Italy on the back. So we got that, I've got that as a little lot, like I was able to kind of get a bundle deal. Picked up a little cloisonne, hello, hi Jesse. Um, on brass, enamel on brass, a little trinket box. Very pretty there. Now there was some vases, and as much as I love the vases, they don't do as well as the little trinket boxes or the little uh, figurines or something that you know from our experience so I left the vases um, but I got the little trinket box that was cool let's see I also picked up a jar of keys a lot of people craft altar things so and some of these are pretty ornate you know they're not just like you know a key but they're like, you could tell they're old school and they have old like font and stuff on them. So got a jar of keys. What else do I get? Oh, we got this little cat. It's a Mexican cat. On the bottom, it looks like it says Salis or Solis if in Spanish. But it's a Tanala or not Tanala. It doesn't say Tanala, it just says Mexico. Yeah, I don't see Tanala. Um, but it's a cat. Very cool. There's the bottom. Okay. Then Aaron, I think, was pretty drawn to this elephant. This looks like the cat that we were gonna get and we didn't, that alabaster. It's like a stone or something. This cool blue elephant. I liked that. That's pretty neat. It almost reminds me of a slag glass, but without the shine to the glass. Um, so I think that concludes like the treasure mart. I'm looking real quick. I think so. 
And I believe the rest of this is the antique store that we went to by our old house. Okay. We kind of, kind of, um, we had to control ourselves because <laughs> we hit like Fenton Critter Heaven. But we were, we were able to pick some. But I got this, and this is that oil slick color. The, I don't even know the proper color name for this one, right? Because it's, I'd have to look in the book because everyone lists it as something different. But it has the Fenton sticker there. It's not in the book. Um, but it's their, I think it's their Amethyst Carnival something or other. But, you know, it looks like an oil slick. Just got home. You're going to have to start over. You're going to have to watch again. <laughs> well, we'll save the best for last, so but know. we're not too far in. I mean, I've shown some stuff, but... So we got that. Let's see. This guy oh, was one I wanted to look up before I showed you, but I didn't. Imagine that. <laughs> I just thought he was neat. He does strike me as like Westmoreland or something like that, but um, I'll show you. It's this squirrel nut jar and he's sitting on like an acorn. Squirrel on acorn. So and he's like a blue slag glass. So we picked him up. Amethyst carnival glass. <laughs> um, okay, then these uh, I didn't have my flashlights in my purse. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I changed my purse, so I didn't have my little flashlight with me. And um, in our in our like pickin van that we use, we have like a few flashlights in there, but it's it's been broke down for a while, and we haven't switched the flashlights over. These are a lot of excuses on why I didn't check these in the store. <laughs> but these are custard, so like a custard color um, glass of these Moon and Stars candlestick holders and they're so great because they got like that ring of fire thing that old milk glass has and I was really hoping that they'd glow when we got home but they don't I was like no but they're so gorgeous I mean you never really see this color so we picked those up oh it's so hot um this is a cute story so I was looking at this and it said that the little, uh, I was looking at this little animal and then um, the little, the tag to it said the booklet was included and it has this little booklet thingy right here and it looks like it was like maybe Valentine's or something. Um, the very first one says, I haven't felt the same since I met you. I think it's a touch of the love bug and what comes with it is this little love bug and who makes that? he's holding a heart in his hands and I've never seen this guy before but it's made by Fenton so it's a Fenton love bug and he comes with his little cards and I don't think he glows or anything no he doesn't glow but so cute I was like oh my gosh and they came together I've never seen that Yep, it says Fenton on the back. But I never guessed. Nope. I would have, yeah, never guessed that one. Then we have these little, these are Fenton, um, like little, not a, I mean a fan vase. I'm not sure. Again, I'd have to look in the book and see what they're calling these. Um, because online they have all kinds of different names. This book is me but name this one glows, which is pretty dang awesome. Green. Yeah, we almost had a cranberry one, but as she was about to wrap it up, I saw there was a giant crack on the inside. See all these like hobnail things covered it up. And as she was like wrapping it, I could see it. So we switched it out for this uh, case sort of pink color. Um, so we got those two. Then we got a couple little things for like giveaways we got this little green glass bird is he green or is he blue i think he's like a teal color but we got that little bird hi dondi 
Um, oh, these two were so cute. I got this tiny little uh, blue glass bunny. He's got his little nose up in the air. So I got him. And then this reminds me. Lime green opalescent hobnail. Lime green opalescent hobnail is what this is called. What it, do, do you see this shape of glass to say what this is like for? It's a whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit. This reminds me of the Alexandrite glass, but it's not. It's just a purple. It's just a purple glass. The, you know, the neodymium that changes in the light. Um, hi, Ray Ray. No, you're fine. Hi, Shelby. You guys will just have to rewatch you'll be the rewatchers shelby we got you some flowers i got this oh and shelby i got a couple of those tiny little pill boxes um they're the micro mosaic ones but i was i already showed them we got these show don the other butterfly she likes them and aaron wants you to see this dondi so that Fenton sticker would make it when um, the sticker's the old one. Yeah, and it's not marked. I'd have to look in the book. This damn book. Yeah, before wait, it is it does have a mark on it, babe, on the wing. Because remember I told you they started to like reproduce some of the older stuff? Um, so this one actually has an eight, so it puts it in the eighties. So this was them trying to bring back like maybe an older color or an older style, and that's what they would do. So, um, oh, thank you, Mary. Um, okay, so we got this little, little box. I know you guys love boxes, and it has this, I don't know, it's probably like a resin, but you can see right through it, this little box. I love these. So I've been looking for... It's hard, but I've been looking for a lot of little things for you guys because a lot of you saying, Alex, I'm running out of space. So I, we are always looking for little. So here's a little enamel um, trinket jar, basically, or box. And it's shaped like, like, a, like a kimono. Little en <clears throat> enamel on brass. You have a ton, what, I have a ton of small vases that are like those little pill boxes. Awesome. Yeah, it's the micro mosaic stuff. I think it was, was it Shelby that wanted one of those? Or was it, um, was it you, Felicia? Or did you get one, Felicia? Somebody was looking for one for their mother. Oh, this was from Treasure Mart. I completely forgot about this beast. That thing is... Look at this, you guys. This was from Treasure Mart. Look at this. Blue and green. Look at how, like, giant. Like, I could use him to, like, call NASA. <laughs> He's cool. It's big. So, he's pretty awesome. Love him. This carpet is, uh... It was me. Oh, it was show? Okay, I did get it right then. Yeah, you remember something. All right. <laughs> we got this. Oh, this was from Treasure Mart, too. I'm slipping. We got this pink and white Latticino vase. It's time to do some weeding and replace your better items. Like, you know what I'm saying, Alex? Yeah. Yep. Not me. I'm not running out of space. It's just called those fan vases. Oh, fan vases? Yep. Um, they say they're running out of space. <laughs> But we got this. I thought this was really neat. I've looked at this so many times in this person's particular booth. But um, we were able to get her on the phone and, like, have... She's the one we got the micro mosaic ones from. And then get us, um, like, a bundled deal to get it a tad cheaper. Because, listen, I'm going broke. All right. Then we have this cranberry hobnail... 
Well, it's a cranberry color, I think, but you can look it up. Like maybe it's a cranberry opalescent or something. So that was pretty cool and it's a bigger size. Sometimes, most of the time these are like this big, you know, but we got that. Um, what else do I want to show you? Look at this snail. Look at that purple in there. He is really neat. So I picked that up. Then this was so cool. It's so miniature. Look at this, like this custard, like it's a Burmese glass. You see the, the pink in there and it glows like the Dickens. And it also would look very cute on. <laughs> so, very cool. We got the most epic snail coming up, though, I think. Um, here is another snail that we picked up. This is another Fenton piece. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Aaron spotted this and was like, he was calling, Alex, you have to come look at all these animals. <laughs> So there was a lot, there were some dogs, um, some birds, but we got, we grabbed a couple that we don't normally see all the time. One, the snail. So we grabbed the snail, that butterfly, and then this one, we grabbed a deer. So very cool. I got him. Um, this, oh, I loved this. This lusterware. Lusterware needs to come back in style. And the antique store lady agreed with me. She said she loves it too. But it's hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. It's a salt and pepper. And then this one is like a little, um. That looks like you and me after the sale's over. Oh, it, right? <laughs> it's a little condiment. It has it. It has its uh, spoon still in there. Hey, Lisa. So maybe a little mustard or something but look how cool that is oh my gosh these are the kind of things i love in the lusterware stuff a lot of the figural things um now you guys really liked this other candy jar that we had it had a butterfly on the lid this has more of like a hobnaily knob but it's another one of these fenton jars I'm killing you. Oh no, you better make sure you come to the sale tomorrow then. Save your pocketbook. So we got that and then I have three more things to share with you guys. Oh, this was from Treasure Mart too. Listen, I sucked at this, <laughs> this thing today. Look at this waterer. Is that not like the coolest? Aaron calls him a nook waterer because we play Animal Crossing. Um, and it's just, it's just a cute name, but credit card. I'm just <laughs> mailing you my credit card. Okay. But it's a, like a luster, uh, watering can that I absolutely love. And on the bottom, there's a sticker that says Florida. So it was probably a little tourist piece and I absolutely love them. <laughs> now, hi. So I have, um, two more florida like touristy pieces that are so cool they're from the early 1900s you'd come here and inside the bottom or inside the bottles would be orange blossom perfume because we have a lot of orange trees here so um here's the two that i picked to save apparently i was a little late because there was a lot of other really cool shaped bottles like animals and stuff but here's what i got so i got the flamingo so this was filled with orange blossom perfume and it's all hand blown so that's where the perfume came out right there it would have had a little kind of like like this palm tree it has like a little waxy seal so this was never opened this just evaporated over time but this is so cool so I grabbed these this one um, has a little boo-boo 
so like on its little leg right there it has a little crack so like it's it could separate you know but it's together listen you've been around quite a while and the last thing I have to show you is actually this bronze sculpture this was made by a famous artist he became more famous after he passed away but um, in the 80s he was really he was really popular in the 60s he's um, it's Giovanni um, Schumann showman Schumann um, so he was really popular mid-century art and in the 80s like 84 I think it was he was actually murdered someone um, hired a hitman and, and killed him and a few other people but a lot of his sculptures and things that he made um, are worth quite a bit of money. It's, this one is, they're signed right there on the side. But, yep, it's a bronze sculpture by him. He was, he's an African sculptor and he went to school over there and he eventually moved to California and he had an art studio um, and he tried to go into business with someone else, but before that could happen, he was killed. But all of his stuff is um, just amazing. And after the fact, you know, it got really popular. But I just think it's stunning. To me, it just kind of reminds me of like an Art Nouveau piece, which is what attracted it, attracted me to it. So that is my last item that I have for you guys. Um, yeah, so if you, after this video, I know if you, it's hard to remember because it, since it's live, it takes a minute for it to like register. Um, but if you could leave comments, not in the chat, but in the comments on some ideas of some things that you would like to see in the next two sales that we're going to have, um, which is Thursday night and Sunday afternoon, that would be great. Uh, and then make sure you tune in tomorrow in the morning in the afternoon um, all of the uh, channel members are going to get first look of the items that we've actually selected like for sure for the sale i'll let you guys know what's going to be a flat price what's going to be an offer up um, and then i'll let it go live to the other channel subscribers uh, later on in the day and then we will see you at tomorrow night sale um so oh thanks felicia <laughs> i'm extremely hot <laughs> Um, but anyways, thank you guys so, so much for uh, coming today. I appreciate it. I know it was like a little pop-up thing, but we appreciate it. But we're going to go. We're going to get some food. we got to feed our babies and um, take some showers because we probably stink. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much.